So everybody, this is for New Star with the continuation of our Construct 2 uh, tutorial for the inventory. Sorry, it's been a while. I've just had so much going on, but let's get straight to it. So uh, it's our standard top-down tutorial. So I'm going to show you what I have so far. It isn't much, but I want to take us into steps. Uh, so I'm still continuing on with the Android layout because I, I wanted this to be a um, top-down web mobile it's pretty easy once I have from mobile to switch over to web or to uh, PC so I'm sticking with this for now also it lets you guys develop a mobile game which a lot of people there's not many tutorials out there so I want to get those out and then switch over to PC also you guys should know how to switch over because uh, it is the PC controls uh, have more uh, there are more PC and web controls whatever so we have our shooter whatever layout I'm going to take care of this guy boom I'm going to pick up some ammo like usual. As you can see, we have real time shadows. Um, so it's doomed dynamically and all that stuff. So, how do we pick up inventory? We see this little box over here. That's for the inventory. This is going to be our inventory box. It's not going to be this transparent. I just want to make sure certain things were working so I could see through to make sure it paused the game. That's, you know. Uh, and then we're going to have an X button where you can click it and you go back to your game. You'll be able to see what things that you picked up such as your, um, basically, it should have a pistol. I haven't implemented that in yet, but it's going to have a pistol, shotgun, plasma. They're, they're going to be grayed out if you don't have them or you have no ammo for them. And then it's, and then some other specialty items I haven't really picked out. Like, for this type of game, I haven't stretched out everything I'm going to put into it. But... There we go. Um, I'm going to make this button a little bit better than what it is right now. Make it a little bit special or have a sprite or do something about it. Uh, but how did I do that? Uh, by just actually just literally just clicking on the guy and then because um, I, I want the code on him. Or you don't even have to click on him. So I put uh, inventory when you press I key. Um, well, that's actually for the PC. Or hit. Uh, UI button. So let's be let's be very specific about this. All right. So on touch sprite twenty. That's the uh, this little gray box area over the shooting button. Um, set time scale to zero. So that means it's basically pause the game. And this is very similar in Borderlands and other UI games. Even though it's not realistic. Well, you're basically saying nanoseconds equals hours whatever so well and you know you're like the guy could be slow mo and you're just going everything uh going through your guns and at uh, you know like oh I, i'm gonna take that gun and this gun and this guy this gun and then you shoot him so and then set position of an item so what i did is i have a ui item on the sidelines right over here and i said okay you're gonna set your position to where the player is um, and because we paused the game during that time, we don't have to worry about where it is exactly. There are some issues, like this guy will move up. Now when you go down, you don't have any issues, but when we move up toward the walls, right here, and we then spawn it, we then have an issue. Um, but I'm going to fix that in the next update. So it's not a huge gigantic bug at this moment. So, as we move around, we can move around a lot. So, for the most part, actually, yeah, it does work a lot. Boom, boom, boom. Some of our health got taken away. Boom, boom, boom. He's dead. I'm going to seek for some more health. That has given me more health. I also have another idea for the health dispenser. So we might talk about that next time. I'm going to pick up ammo for my plasma pistol. Or my zap gun. And then boom. Hey, I'm going to switch to some other item. So we're good to go on that. So I'm going to put this down below, guys. I know it's basic, but I want you guys to get this first 
into you know your layout and then move on to the next step of actually having an item i'm thinking about when the actual monster dies or whatever he drops the gun you pick it up and then you can able you're able to switch to it and then we'll deal with uh, switching and shooting cuz he's you're going to be actually shooting the same sort of in, uh uh between the pistol and the rifle it's the same ammo little zat gun uh battery pack and then we switch to a uh plasma gun and that's going to use a blue canister and that's going to run off a di different ammo and different uh setup on how you switch uh weapons so it's not going to be too hard but it's going to um until some pre of coding so hopefully this is to make up for my long time on not doing construct 2 tutorials hopefully you guys you will like it and watch it and remember to share the videos it does help it does um, you know tell others that you know I do do this stuff and they are able to email me and get requests so uh, or whatever this you know enjoy it if you like to see any other stuff please comment down below uh, what you would like to see in this tutorial or in other stuff I do have a busy schedule, but I do do I do read the tutorials um, boxes down below, or the comments down below. Excuse me, to see what you guys want and um, try to put them into the games. So until next time, guys, I will see you all later.